Hello everyone, Mr. Matemira once again. This time we are learning about demand. There are three concepts that I am going to explain in this lesson. The first one is to define the term demand, followed by explaining the determinants of demand. Here we will be looking at the factors that affect or influence demand. Lastly, I will talk about the demand function. What is demand? Demand refers to the quantity of goods and services that consumers are willing and able to purchase over a given period of time. Now, when you are defining demand, there are key terms that we need to include. The first one is the quantity of goods. The second one, demand is concerned with the consumers or households. The third point is willing to. Let us have an example here. There is a computer that is for sale, but if the person is not willing to buy the computer, the person is not counted as part of demand. For you to be counted as part of demand, you have to be willing to purchase that product. The next term is able to. Okay, let's say you are willing to buy the computer, but if you are not able to, let's say you don't have money, you don't have the means to purchase the computer, still you are not counted as part of demand. Lastly, we talk about the purchase of a good or a service. We are not talking about the selling part. We are talking about the buying part. So these are the key terms that we need to consider when we are defining uh, the term demand. Now, let me explain the determinants of demand. Determinants refers to the factors that influence or that affect demand. Now, what are those factors? The first one is the price of a good or a service. When you want to buy something, you look at the price of it. The second one is the income level. Now, let us look at this um, example. Somebody is having 100 rand. The other person has got 200 rand. Now, these two people have different buying power. The more you earn, the more you can purchase. So income level affects demand or it is a determinant of demand. The next one is taste. We can have an example here. Somebody prefers a fried chicken to grilled chicken or vice versa. So the taste of a product influences demand. Usually we buy something that we like. The fourth determinant of demand is a price of related goods or price of substitute goods. For example, tea and coffee. So sometimes when you see that coffee is more expensive than tea, just an example, you may end up buying tea because these two are substitutes. Now let us have an example here for related goods. I've got sunshine, I've got drama. The purpose of these two is to make the bread taste better. Now, I will look at the price of the related good and see how much are they costing. Then you see, okay, let me buy this one. So the price of related goods also influence the demand. The fifth one is the number of potential buyers. If the number of potential buyers is less, then it means the quantity to be demanded is going to be less also. Lastly, we talk about all other factors. That includes fashion, advertising. Sometimes you buy something simply because you saw it being advertised. Trends, what's trending weather sometimes is too hot so the demand is also affected in the sense that when it's hot people are willing to buy 
ice cream, but if it is cold, people may be buying tea, coffee, hot chocolate, and so on. Then the other point is the population changes, right? The population changes when there are more people, that means the demand is likely to be high. When there are less people, demand is likely to be less. We now focus on the demand function. Now, if we have mastered the determinants of demand, it is now easier for us to talk about the demand function. But what is a demand function? A demand function is a mathematical expression that shows the link or relationship between the quantity demanded of a good with its determinants or factors, such as taste, the income level, the price of the product, and so on. Now, what does it say? The demand function states that quantity demanded is a function of the price of the product, the income level, the taste, price of the related good, number of potential buyers, and so on. Here are the determinants of demand. So we take the symbols here and put them in this uh, function. So this is quantity demanded is a function of price of a good or a service, income level, taste, price of related goods, number of um, potential buyers, and lastly, all other factors. We talked about other factors uh, when we were talking about uh, the determinants of demand.